you're seeing a bunch of Seagate Barracuda hard drives. There are two terabyte, they have the two 56 megabyte cache, and they're also 7200 RPM. Here we get to see them out of the box. You probably can't notice it, but they're very thin compared to my other hard drives. This angle might show the difference in thickness between the two hard drives a little bit better. If you look at where the rectangle is, that's the edge of the hard drive or kind of the bottom. The part where the circle or oval shape is, is recessed in a lot on the new hard drive. It's not as thin as a laptop hard drive, but it is a lot thinner than all the other drives I've had. I was thinking there might only be one platter in that particular hard drive. I was thinking I might only get read and write speeds of about 90, maybe 100 megabytes per second. However, they're much faster than I anticipated, even though they're much smaller and thinner. In this video, I'm going to be using my M.2 to SATA adapter when I do the software raid. Here we get to see the inside of my computer. You can kind of see I have the hard drives in kind of just the opposite way. You can see the wires, you know, are more towards the front of the computer rather than the back. It wouldn't fit the graphics card if I would have done it the other way. And the graphics card just barely passes right through there as it is. First, I'm going to benchmark a single hard drive. Later, I'll create the striped RAID array and then redo the benchmark. You'll see a huge difference in read and write speeds. As you can tell, this is one single two terabyte hard drive. We're gonna do the test right now. Just simply selecting the folder, here we go. Over 200 megabytes per second for the write. Not bad at all. And for the read, we're getting over 200 megabytes per second. Pretty good speeds. I'm gonna real quick make an adjustment. We're gonna switch from five gigabyte to one gigabyte. We're still getting over 200 megabytes per second for the write and over 200 megabytes for the read, not bad. If you're on an older version of Windows, you can go to the control panel. I have it set up for large icons. You can go to administrative tools, then click on computer management. Then you can click on disk management. It'll take a second for it to pop up. There we see all my hard drives. I'm gonna delete all these windows, get rid of them. With Windows 10, it's easier to just right click, go to disk management and select it. It's the exact same thing. I'm gonna slide this up a little bit, slide this up a little bit so we can see all of my hard drives. Here we're seeing all of my brand new Seagate Barracuda hard drives, the two terabyte hard drives you can see right here. It's in a Stripe RAID array right now. It's volume Z. We can tell it's over nine terabytes in size. To delete a RAID array, you simply right click it. We're gonna go delete volume. By the way, it's this hard drive right here is the Z. So I'm gonna hit delete volume and it's gonna get rid of it. It's gonna knock this icon out. There it went, knocked it out. And now these are all, all on, on allocated hard drives. All we have to do is right click. We're gonna make a new Stripe volume. I'm gonna do the same thing I already did. It's fairly easy, you just hit next. Now we're gonna add these to it. You just add them, it's really easy to do. Then we're gonna go next. I want this to be the Z drive. I don't wanna get it confused with any of my other drives. We wanna do a quick format. I'm gonna hit next, finish. Yes, I might fast forward over this. It shouldn't take but about 25, 35 seconds. They'll go from black to a bluish gray. Maybe I'll just keep recording. Let's see, it shouldn't take too long. There you go, see how they're like the bluish kind of gray um, or bluish green, I guess you could say too. But here's that hard drive, it popped up over here and here's my new Z volume. If I right click on properties, we can see 
you know, nine terabytes. This is the brand new RAID array, which is pretty cool. Make a new folder. We'll write test. Then on here, select target drive. Z, test, select folder. Let's see what speeds we get. A little over a thousand megabytes per second. Pretty nice speeds. I'm gonna stop that really quick. Let me go to one gigabyte. Still pretty nice speeds. I should state that a striped RAID array and RAID 0 are the same thing. You're combining multiple hard drives to get better read and write speeds. If one of the hard drives should fail, you're going to lose all your data. That's the risk of running a RAID 0 or a striped RAID array. A mirrored RAID array and RAID level 1 are the same thing. If you have two hard drives, it'll write the exact same data to both drives. Basically, you have a backup copy, although some people don't like that terminology being used when you're talking about RAID systems. I wanted to demonstrate my computer playing back a 4K sequence. It's using the red R3D codec, Blackmagic RAW, and ProRes. You can see the hard disk, the RAID system is barely being used at all. It's not even anywhere near like 20 or 30 percent. I want to let people know that after playing this timeline or sequence, whatever you want to call it, for over 10 minutes, the hard drives weren't hot at all. They weren't even lukewarm. They were basically almost at room temperature. So when people think, oh, these hard drives are going to get super hot, that's not the case. And when people think these hard drives are super noisy, that is not the case. The CPU fan and the GPU fan will be noisier than the hard drives. I used a Sedna M.2 to SATA adapter in this video. There's other brands available. I'm sure they'll work just as well as this one did. I did notice the one brand, it's keyed slightly different, but I'm sure the performance will be about the same. My only regret is that I wish these devices had eight ports instead of just five. I'm sure in another year or two, there will be an eight port version of these devices. I will try to provide links in the description box. If you found this video helpful or informative, you might want to check out some of my other videos.